some more and welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is my university decisions reaction video 2021 canadian edition i always love watching these videos like around this time of year just seeing everyone get into their dream school but i never see any canadian ones well there's been a couple but i never see like as many as i would like especially for like my program so i'm going to add to this small list of decision videos for Canadian specifically Ontario universities I applied to six different programs all around like health science and nursing at five different schools and it was a very confusing process let me tell y'all applying to university in Canada is not like applying to America and I thought it was but if you have any questions about the application process um, my stats and stuff like that do leave it down in the comments or DM me on Instagram and I'll be glad to answer your questions there or in another video without further ado let's get on with the video i'll be going through my decisions in the order that they got back to me so whoever got to move back to me first second third etc so the first school that got back to me was wilfred laurier for the health science which is really surprising because it is the last school i applied to so i applied in late october but then i added my laurier health side program in december and they got back to me like two weeks later on january 12 2021 i'm definitely a safety school but i know a lot of people who like say a lot of good things about it because they got into med school and they really liked the communities so about the laurier application process so there's no official supplementary but they had an optional one where you could just list all your extracurriculars and stuff that you did the day i found out about that was the day i got my decision so anyways here's my reaction i look really different in this this was six months ago five months ago okay i said i would like look i would vlog my reactions to stuff for um my university applications and i was literally in the middle of like doing my homework and i just wanted to check my um i usually check my emails when i take a break and it literally just said congratulations and i was like oh no i was just like no i didn't get it but um I'm just gonna open the email. Congratulations, Daniela Moore. You have received an offer of admissions to Wilfrid Laurier University. But yay, I got into university. Um, I don't know how to feel scared, man. I'm so scared. <laughs> so the second school that got back to me was University of Toronto and I applied to the life science at the downtown location so the St. George campus um I don't really want to go to University of Toronto I don't really like the downtown area um, because I was at the Toronto Raptors parade shooting and now I'm deathly afraid of downtown Toronto so I applied really just because it was also another safety school and the research opportunities are pretty good at you so I was just like I'll just apply my parents really wanted me to apply here as well but for the University of Toronto application this also didn't have a supplementary application for me to fill out but I did have to apply apply to something that's not mandatory though basically at university of toronto if you apply to a faculty of arts and science program and life science is part of that faculty you'll get to apply to these different colleges which is basically like your hogwarts house if you want to think about it don't really understand why how it works so i applied to victoria college that has like a two question application that i finished the day before um so that was that also they got back to me on february 24th 2021 here's my reaction i look a like hot mess um anyways i'm gonna check my uft application because apparently my friend got an acceptance but they never got an email i never got an email so i'm gonna check applications that is let's go check this okay faculty of arts and science oh, study in life sciences woo status admitted i don't know i don't really want to go to uft so yeah okay so the next school that got back to me is western university i applied to their medical science program with their scholars elective scholars elective it's like a minor i see it as like a minor that you take with your med sci program or like different programs basically you get to do a lot of like research in this program it's just like this leadership extra boosting thing i just applied for the fun of it it was not really a safe school but i was a school i was pretty confident in getting in um i also applied because it recommends physics as a requirement and honestly i didn't want the physics course i took to go to waste 
Okay, so for applying to Western, it's a little bit harder because I applied to the Scholars Elective program. You have to write us a couple things about yourself, um, your leadership stuff, like why you think you'd be a good fit, and like what would you like to do if you were in this program because you have to do a lot of research in your second year. So that took me like about two weeks to complete. I did it like right before the due date. But honestly, if you don't apply to Scholars Elective, you don't need to do the application and you just send in your grades through OUAC. But that's just basically how it is. I got my decision from Western on April the 13th. 2021. When I open my Western decision, congratulations, you've been admitted. Oh my god, I got a video. Oh, I guess I didn't get into their um, Western scholars thingy. That's sad. Hi, it is editing me in the future. And looking back at that video, I realized that I look not excited or happy. I'm sorry is texting me um at all to get into western but i actually am i literally woke up when i took that video so yeah now we're getting into the programs that i really wanted to get into which amazingly were the last ones to get back to me really appreciate it next school that got back to me was queens for their health science program now this um had a supplementary application i was really stressed about like this application and i spent like a month a good month on it so they gave you three essay prompts and you only needed to hand in two and i wrote all three prompts and then let people pick the best two out of all of them about queens which i didn't know they redo the essay prompts like every month so they give you uh the prom the three prompts and then you have a month to write them and then the next month they'll have new prompts so that was just really entertaining honestly i was really stressed about this because i'm pretty sure like the acceptance rate around like four or five percent um so they got back to me on april the 28th 2021 Let's roll the clips. Um, Queens up emailed me and I think I saw a congratulations. I'm gonna check because oh my god, I love Queens University so much. Um, wait, wait, oh my god, wait, no, no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So, there's my sister. I got accepted into uh, Queens health that I literally put on makeup because I felt so good even though I have like so much homework that I need to do and I still need to study for Hosa. So Queens was pretty competitive this year and I'm actually surprised I got in because I was really rereading my essay and it's like terrible. Oh my god. The next school that got back to me is the one and only Mac Health Science. I've been wanting to apply. This is like my dream program, like my top program. I heard of it in grade nine i was like yes this is a program i want to get into this is like the top program in um the health side in ontario in canada i'm pretty sure so there's like seven thousand applicants this year which is crazy because they only accept like 200 300 ish people in the program i was really stressed about this program and like dude the supplementary application questions they're so hard i was like who created these why did they create this and the worst part is is that i spent like no time on this i spent like a week on these applications they like give these out late august early september and i did them like the week before also what i didn't like about the mac health site um application process is that so you have to answer the questions on like their website and whatever you, but you have to type out all the answers in a certain time frame um and you can't copy and paste your answers you also don't hand them in all at the same time which was really annoying um like i was handing in my application a week or two earlier than like some of my friends because they do it alphabetically but i did it i handed in my app I actually don't have a decision video i was just like not caring about filming i was just on call with my friends refreshing mosaic over and over again um uh, mosaics the mac master portal but i'll reenact it so i was here just like scrolling <laughs> <laughs> refreshing oh rejected i was rejected from mac health sci honestly was really expecting it because my supplementary application was really really bad I didn't cry i thought i was gonna cry i was really proud of myself for that so yes so the next school that got back to me was again mcmaster this was for their nursing program so i applied to two nursing programs this was the first nursing program that got back to me honestly 
in grade 11 i went through this phase where i really wanted to be a nurse in grade 12 i was like do i want to be a nurse or do i want to be a doctor and i'm still in that physician or nurse thing because i honestly don't know what i really want to be for this, I had to write the Casper test. Casper test is like you watch a bunch of videos and then you have to answer like three questions in five minutes. Do not study at all. Basically questions about like real life situations and I was like, I don't need to study for that. People do study for the Casper. Um, I looked up at tips five, 10 minutes before and then I just followed those tips throughout my test. Like the one thing I would have done to prepare for the Casper test, my typing speed, because five minutes you have a three good answers to three questions is hard. But I think I did pretty good on the Casper uh, without like practicing. So, you know, if you apply to any program with the Casper test, I don't really know if you have to study because it's just how you would react in normal situations. But if you do one thing for the Casper test, practice your typing mac nursing offers um came out today i'm pretty sure i got rejected um as well here so uh, i don't care anymore let's see okay oh my this is ruining everything <laughs> So I wanted to also explain why I was like, oh my god, this is going to ruin everything. I didn't want to get into the nursing program because I knew it would really make it hard for me to decide where I wanted to go. Especially because I got rejected from Mac HealthSci, really like um, McMaster's like community campus and stuff. I know that if I got into the program, it would make my decision a lot harder for me. The last university that got back to me is Ryerson for the their main site nursing honestly applied here because my mom wanted me to apply here safety school honestly like i didn't really care about this one except it came super late like this was like the last school that got back to me very late five days before the last day to hear from universities this one i didn't have a supplementary application so here's my decision reaction yeah please excuse the way that i look right now um, I just woke up and I saw that Ryerson sent out my decision. <sighs> now we're going to open it up. I'm so tired. Okay, time for the Ryerson decision. That's so funny. I think I'll wait. Let's see. We'll wait. Let's see from Ryerson. <laughs> But honestly, it's pretty funny, so I don't really care. This was like my safety school. Confusion. I'm very confused. So those were all my university decisions. I rejected from Mac HealthSci, waitlisted from Ryerson Nursing, and then accepted into Queens HealthSci, Mac Nursing, Western MedSci, and Laurier HealthSci. I'm honestly really proud of the class of 2021 because this year sucked for applications and universities especially since we weren't able to go toward the campuses and stuff um as for my decision and where i'm going i have no idea yet <laughs> my top three schools that um i'm debating between is queen's health sci laurier health sci and mac nursing but honestly mac nursing isn't really in the running because i'm just going to keep my options open and i think health side is going to help me explore my options a little bit more um if you're committed already to any of your schools congrats let me know where you're going in the comments um if you're a queen's health side or laurier health side decidey like me let me know you're thinking of where you're leaning towards i don't know though i'm not really sold on any of these schools yet so if you have any advice please drop it in the comments any questions about my application process and i'll talk about them yeah i think that's it for the video i really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week, hopefully with my decision. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, and stay safe out there. Get your vaccine, y'all.